In this video, I'm going to show you how to deposit and withdraw crypto assets to and from the BingX platform from another exchange or wallet address. Part of this video is a segment from my BingX step-by-step -step beginner tutorial, and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. If you get some value out of this, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. To deposit some crypto assets onto the BingX platform from another exchange or wallet address, simply come right up here where it says Assets, and from this drop-down menu, click here on Deposit. Next, choose the coin that you wish to deposit by clicking right here and selecting it from this drop-down menu. Alternatively, you can search for it in the search bar right here. I'll go ahead and just leave this on Tether. After you choose the coin that you wish to deposit, you can select a network by giving this a click right here, and then choose a network from this drop-down menu. Some of these networks will be faster and less in fees than others, but the main thing is, is you want to make sure that the network matches on both sides of this. You don't want to send from one network into another network, or you run the risk of losing your coins forever. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just use the BNB Smart Chain. Once you choose the coin and the network that you wish to use, you can come down here and click on Get Address. Then BingX will generate a deposit address for the coin as well as the network that you wish to use you'll be able to see it right down here under address. And for this demonstration, I'll send some tether from Binance and into BingX. So what I'll do is I'll copy my BingX deposit address by clicking right here, and I'll bring Binance into frame. Now I need to withdraw the tether off of Binance and send it over to BingX. And for most exchanges, you'll find your crypto withdraw button on your dashboard. For Binance, you can get to your dashboard by coming right up here to your profile icon, and then just click right here on dashboard. And in most cases, with most exchanges, you'll find a withdraw button here on your dashboard. I can see mine right here beside deposit. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a click. Now I need to choose Tether by clicking right here. And I can see Tether right up here at the top, so I'll give that a click. And now I need to paste in my BingX deposit address into this box right here. Now that that's done, I need to select the correct network by clicking on the network box right here. And I can see the BNB Smart Chain right here, so I'm going to go ahead and give that a click. And I'm going to confirm by clicking on yes, I'm sure. Now that the network matches on both sides of this, I'm ready to withdraw my tether from Binance and send it over to BingX. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on max and then click on withdraw and confirm and continue. Now I need to complete my security verification requirements by requesting an email verification code by clicking right here. And then I'll need to put in my Google Authenticator code by clicking right here. And now the tether is on its way from Binance and over to BingX. So I'm going to go ahead and click on completed and I'll bring BingX back into frame like so. And a quick tip with this, if it's your first time sending crypto over to BingX from another exchange or wallet address, just send a small amount first. That way you can make sure that you have the correct address, that you've selected the right network, and once those coins arrive, you can have the confidence to send in a larger amount. And now that I've refreshed the page, you can see that my tether has already arrived on the BingX platform. Once your crypto arrives, you can find it by coming right up here to assets, and from this drop down menu, click here on my assets. Then come down here and click on your fund account. And here's where you'll find your crypto once it arrives on the platform. And you can see the tether that I sent in from Binance right here. Before withdrawing your crypto assets and sending them to another exchange or wallet address, you'll first need to set up your fund code. So if you haven't done that already, you can get it done by coming right up here to this profile icon and from this drop down menu, click here on account and security. On this page here, scroll down to where it says security center and right down here, you'll find fun password. Come over here on the right hand side and give this button a click. Mine obviously says modify because I've already done this. You're going to need this pin code in order to complete your withdrawal. Next, you'll need to make sure that your assets are in your fund account. So if your coins are in your futures account, you'll first need to transfer them from futures and into your fund account. And to get that done, we'll come right up here where it says Assets, and in this drop-down menu, you can click on the Transfer button, and alternatively, you can click on My Assets. And as you can see in my case here, I have some funds in my Futures account, and I'll need to transfer them from Futures and into my Fund account. So what I'll do is I'll click right here where it says Transfer, and then this pop-up window right here, I need to flip these two around. And to do that, click on these little arrows. Now I'm set up to transfer from my Futures account into my Fund account. And in my case here, that's Tether, so I'm just going to come down here, click on All, 
and confirm. Now, when we look back down here, you can see that I transferred the funds from my futures account and into my fund account. Now I'm ready to withdraw my crypto and send it to another exchange or wallet address. And to get that done, just simply click on the withdraw button right here next to deposit. Alternatively, you can come up here where it says assets and then select withdraw from the drop down menu. Either way, we'll bring you over to the withdraw form. Next, choose the coin that you wish to withdraw by clicking right here. And in my case, all I have is Tether on account, so I'll be using that for this tutorial. After that, choose the network by clicking right here and then select a network from this drop down menu. And once again, some of these networks will be faster and cheaper than others. But just make sure it matches on both sides. So wherever you're sending these coins to, make sure the destination supports the network and that you have it selected. If you send from one network into another, you run the risk of losing your coins. For this demonstration, I'll select the BNB smart chain again. And in this box here, I need to paste in the address that I wish to send these coins to. This is going to be the deposit address of the destination that I'm sending the coins over to. Once again, I'll use Binance for this demonstration and I'll quickly bring it into frame. On most exchanges, you'll find the deposit button up here, top right hand side of the screen, or you'll find it on your dashboard. To get to the Binance dashboard, I'm going to hover over my profile icon and select dashboard from this drop down menu. And as you can see, there's a deposit button right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a click. Now I need to select Tether by searching for it in this box right here or selecting it from this drop down menu. Then after that, make sure you choose the correct network. So in my case, I'll be clicking right here and selecting BNB Smart Chain from the drop down menu. Now I can see my deposit address. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy it right here. The network matches on both sides of this and I've selected the correct coin. So I'm gonna bring BingX back into frame and I'm going to paste my Binance deposit address into this box right here using the BNB smart chain. Now that I can see everything matches here, I'm gonna go ahead and just withdraw all my tether by clicking on the all button here, but you can always type in a custom amount and you'll be able to see your available balance right here. So now that I have this withdraw set up the way that I want it, I'm gonna come down here and click on withdraw. Then you'll get a withdrawal confirmation pop-up window so make sure that everything's what you intended, the correct network is selected, as well as the correct address of the destination that you're sending the coins to. If everything looks good, click on confirm. Then you'll need to do your security verification. So you'll have to type in your fund password into this box right here. After that, request an email verification code by clicking on send right here. Once that email arrives, retrieve the six digit verification code and type it into the enter box right here. After that, put in your Google Authenticator code into this box right here. And then once that's done, click on OK. And then your withdrawal will be pending. Once it's processed, the coins will be on their way from BingX to the destination that you sent them to. And you can simply click right down here on Complete. And if you look right down here under Recent Withdrawals, you'll be able to see the status of your withdrawal. And in my case here, it's still processing. With BNB Smart Chain, it shouldn't take very long. And there you have it. That's how you can transfer assets to and from the Bing X platform. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out some of my other Bing X tutorials, which I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.